worse. Um, he looks like he's trying to get back over the support, turn resistance here at pretty much six cents. So, uh, Doge over six cents, you can see that's going to send it up to almost seven cents, up there at six eight. So, from where you are right now, if you get above six, your next stop is about a 14, almost a 14 and a half percent push up on Doge here up to 068. Um, but I don't think that happens. It looks like it's just going to go sideways for now, if not down. So I, as long as you hold this in between these two uh, support levels here, this support and this resistance here, it's probably just going to go sideways. So you need to break above six cents for any kind of momentum to the upside. You can see it's also getting stuck at the uh, EMAs here. Uh, so if you do pull back... You can see 055 for about a 6.5% move. And then if you lose that, the next stop is down here at 49 for a 17% move on Doge. So really not much to say on it. Just watch that price to the upside. You break 6, you're coming up here to 6.8. Uh, if you never get past that, you're probably gonna, just going to crawl around and go sideways. You may come down here a couple times and tag 055. But other than that, like I said, it's not really doing much. It's just going sideways, consolidating. So that's not a bad thing. But, <clears throat> you know, we're all just kind of waiting around for something to do something. Because we're either going to drop more or we're going to go up. Or we can just consolidate for months on end. It just depends on what happens, really. Um, so, yeah, I mean, with that said, really not much to say on Dogecoin here. It's up. 1.79% on the week. Not much to speak of at all. Uh, yeah, I wish I had more to say about these things. I can't wait till we're bullish and we're, we're you know we're looking for the higher prices and and we're all making money and we're all happy. Right now we're just kind of we're just kind of here. We're just all staring at our computer screens, staring at crypto and just wasting away. So yeah, with that being said, none of this is financial advice. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace out.